So, yo. All right. So, check it out. This is what happened with Easy Disc, right? This is Update. part two. You know what I mean? So, we, we called the people back. We were supposed to get a call. Never got the call. So, we ended up calling them. And we voiced our, you know what I'm saying, frustration. And the lady on the phone pretty much told us that we would need to come in. Uh, and, you know what I'm saying, pretty much cause a ruckus and throw some shit around. Tell it, you know what I'm saying, Zach this I'm directly. like, man, do you know who you're... T- you don't know who you're telling to do this. Right. I'm like, I will do this. Right. You know what I'm saying, no slack, right? So, we like, well, shit, we gonna try, we on our way. <laughs> Old yeah, small old Jay we got the shit. Where you, to come oh, we know where you at. We on, we on your way. We on our way. So, we drive out there. It's way up in Baldwin Park. You know what I'm saying? Hour and a half drive. This is ridiculous. So, we finally get out there. You know what I'm saying? I already knew when she was telling, saying what she was saying, that she's a fucking agent of chaos. That's what, right. what most women She like to women tell are. people that shit, and we ain't going to be able to help you. Oh, yeah. She, she like gets off on it. When we go in there, because in the terms and conditions, the return policy says that we got to send in a written request, you know yeah, what I'm saying, all within the merch two there. days, and you got to send all this stuff in, and I'm like, listen, we only did 100 CDs, it was a trial run, y'all messed up on the first 100 CDs, we can't even get it settled, right. so that way, you know what I'm saying, we come back tomorrow, if not today, because at this point it's too late, right. come back tomorrow, and get our, you know what I'm saying, replace they, CDs. They said it was going to take three days to give us a call back. Fuck that. I'm coming right. now. You dealing with this. You could do 100,000 CDs a day. Then 100 shouldn't be shit. The woman pretty much told me that I was absolutely, just completely wrong. Yeah, in quote. You know what I'm no, saying? Actually, like, I, like, my wrong. reading comprehension is like, just this bitch, this non-existent. Bitch. This bitch is fucking customer service uh, skills and, and is at then, all time low. And then she go sit there and, and say that that's not how you know what I'm saying this is gonna go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying <laughs> it's gonna you know what I'm saying we're gonna give you a call. I'm like you, know you gonna saying? give me exactly it's what we 48 want. to 72 hours. I'm like um, yo, we right here right now. We about to resolve this shit. Right. Period. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, motherfuckers started getting hostile. Man, she go like this. She say, uh, yeah. she, she start saying, uh, Boogie come in. We come in. We start telling her. Boogie's calling. He's like, yeah. you know, yeah, we had this thing. Blah, blah. She's like, I, j- I got off the phone. I, or I, I believe you were told, blah, blah, blah. This is the same chick we were talking to on the phone. She went like this. Receptionist put that hat on, ha- handled the phone shit. And then when we got there, she put on the issues department hat. And now she's dealing with the issues. Like, this shit ridiculous. <laughs> Boogie come in and tell her exactly what the problem is. Half a track A need to be redone, blah, blah, blah. We need to get this. We have this here. This is the product left. Tells her exactly what the problem is. And, and tells her exactly what we were told. She goes, actually, you're completely wrong. Uh, and then she starts going in on how it's going to take three days for a call back. And why we, we shouldn't have been showing up here and all this shit. I'm like... I'm like, first off, you're gonna you're gonna stop disrespecting right now, like, and you're gonna give us what the fuck we want, or I could tear this motherfucker, up. like, right. and, and, and uh, I know yeah. you don't want that. So yeah, she starts threatening, oh well, I'll call the police, this, that, and the third, <laughs> trying to make him leave. Yeah, I'm, like, like I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, and like, no, nah, he's gonna stay right here. You're gonna resolve this. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't right. fucking being aggressive and. Fucking jumping across the counter and slapping your ass. Right, I'm just you know, you know I'm saying? giving we, you a fair warning that you gonna give you me gonna, what I want. Right, on, with, on with God. respect. Right, with respect. You know what I'm saying? You ain't about to talk condescending and and, and fucking. Yeah, shushing you know what motherfuckers. Saying? Right, yeah, I had to tell her like, it ain't gonna be no shushing going on. Yeah, you shush a All grown right? man that you know, ma'am. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh-uh. and she she probably ain't nothing but like. 22 and get this man some we she, we in the middle of going back and forth right i'm kind of playing bad cop boogie doing good cop for real at mm-hmm. this particular moment and this she goes she going she going to start telling me uh, uh she goes she goes oh, she tells the other girl go get carrie i'm ready to quit i'm like see look at this i, I started digging at her i wanted her to snap Damn. I started off. I said, right. you, 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 that's, you when suck she at said your that, job. like damn if, if you ready to quit like that because somebody challenged your authority. 
Right. You get your ass saying? out of here. And you don't need to be doing this job. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If she gets off on telling people it's going to take this long, there's nothing you can do about it. Right. She's She gets off on that. She's one of those type of females. I could tell. Right. Just based on her saying that, if those calls is being monitored and recorded, then you can hear what she said on the damn call. She right. said you got to come in and, and act like you and, and, and threaten to throw some shit around in order to get their attention. Right. You know what I'm saying? To get right. it get it done right right now. Right. I'm sitting there listening like, wow, okay. <laughs> it wasn't much talking after that. Yeah, no, and then, you know and then, then the, this big dude come in and I look at him, I'm like, You the manager? He's like, I'm the owner. I'm like, perfect. Let's step out. Can we step outside and talk? We go outside and talk and handle the whole goddamn thing in like two minutes. And and, and it, that shit gonna be done by tomorrow. Right. What the fuck? How hard was that shit? It was so simple, man. Like, go get go get your man. Manager. Go get your man. It's not a kidager. Right. It's a SpongeBob reference. See, I got kids. You see, it's not a, you know what I'm saying? It's a manager. Like, right. But you know what I'm saying? You ain't like the, yeah. This receptionist <laughs> ain't, ha- ain't handling the job right. Dude, I was because I'm sitting there like, dude, if this if it, if this is the case with one hundred CDs, imagine a thousand. The owner a hundred thousand. He's like, well, the the quantity isn't the issue. I said, you know, you're right. You're absolutely right. right. He, it's the customer service that's the issue. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even the owner go after after we get everything dead, said and done, get the corrections with what was the issue was with the uh, the original shipment. He he gonna tell us that you guys can sell this album for a hundred dollars. Of course, of course we can. This, look, they look at all the types of this albums that come through there. This shit is above par. The motherfuckers that have that shit on the walls, half of them fucking look shitty mm-hmm. compared to what we we putting out. Holy shit! Yeah. I was like, man, this is so. Man, hey, that that just goes to show, man. El Boogie, the man for a reason. Yeah. Zach no slack for a reason. Desert Pirates, Hard Knock West. You know what I'm saying? And if you got some hiccups in the road, you're gonna have to go and fucking take care of that shit. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers do not want to give anyone anything, man. How much time we got? Literally like 20 seconds. Less than that, like 10 seconds. 10 well, seconds. Yo, check out the music set and sale. It's oh, available online. Pirates, go to the man. website. Hit us up on Instagram. Uh, Zach, no you got a show Saturday, Harvey Yard Bar, South Central, West Side. Shout out, Baca. 